Hello, we are starting the programme tonight with a distressing story from France. Four children, one of them British, have been injured in a stabbing attack. Two are said to be fighting for their lives. They are all under five years old. Two adults were also wounded. A man with a knife actually went on the attack in a park in a town called Annecy in the Alps. Now, he has been arrested. Julian Drucker has more on this story. And we should warn you, you may find some of what you're about to see upsetting right from the start. <laughs> A man carrying a knife approaches a playground in southeast France. We won't show you the attack he unleashed, but these were the moments of terror seen and heard before it. Shortly afterwards, the man was apprehended. Four children, one of them not yet two years old, were injured. Some of them are now in a severe state. Two adults were also hurt, say the French authorities. The suspect is a Syrian national who had refugee status in Sweden. As news of the tragedy filtered through, France's National Assembly held a minute of silence. The French Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne was in the city within hours. We are shocked by this heinous, unspeakable act, she said. The whole country is in shock. President Macron called the assault an act of cowardice. With the criminal investigation now underway, police have said there is no evidence so far of a link to terrorism. Speaking from Paris, the Foreign Secretary gave this update. Our thoughts are with the victims and uh, the families, and we stand ready to support the French authorities in whichever way uh, we can. Also aware that uh, one of the uh, people, one of the children injured, was a, a British national. We have already deployed British consular officials who are traveling to the area to make themselves available to uh, support the family. Eyewitnesses say the suspect was clearly looking for very young children in the minutes before his attack. Police say he recently came to France and has his three-year-old daughter himself. Tonight, several children remain in a critical condition. Julian Drucker, 5 News.